Well, you know, I mean, it is October and we're talking about the, the macabre, right? We're coming into that time of year right now. And today we want to take a look back at a tour of Music Hall that we did a few years ago. You know, it's usually the host of some great entertainment around this spooky time of year. But occasionally, according to some people, it's also host to the paranormal. Take a watch. The Cincinnati Music Hall, one of the most haunted sites in Ohio. It's not just home to many musical performances, but also long lost spirits. Before Music Hall was on this site, there were actually um, a pauper cemetery that is where they buried the poor, the indigent, the people who had no one to claim their bodies. Um, and it's actually, it was still in a portion of the um, property when they built a, um, an orphanage on the site. Um, the orphanage was here for just a brief period of time and they moved it to a place they considered a healthier spot in the city. And then that building was used as a pest house, uh, which behind us across the street, across Central Parkway, was the Cincinnati Commercial Hospital and Lunatic Asylum. And the pest house was used for um, people with contagious diseases, not really to cure them, just to isolate them so they would not infect the rest of the uh, patients at the hospital. Washington Park, which is across the street, was actually before the city bought it. It was burial grounds for three churches in the neighborhood. So when, um, when the city purchased the property, they, they paid the folks to move the graves and some of them weren't moved. And they found like 83 graves when they dug the foundation for the underground parking garage. So yeah, the, not only the building, but property around the building probably lends to the paranormal activity in the building. You can bet there's no shortage of paranormal stories. Just ask the staff members and those who brave the music hall after hours. It was myself and another team member were actually sitting on the stage one night and we saw someone, a shadow figure, walk in this door, walk down this back aisle and disappear. When the ghost hunters were here, they actually, there were two of their team members sitting on the stage and they walked in the door, or they saw someone waving to them from the doorway up here. Standing in a conference room on the second floor, that this conference room was actually, in, it's in the footprint of the old freight elevator. So in this space is where the old freight elevator used to be. Um, the freight elevator was notorious for having a mind of its own. It would move randomly from floor to floor without anyone calling it to a floor. And it would do this when we were doing tours and we would have 40 people on the elevator and it would happen. <laughs> oh, spooky, right? Now we do want to point out that the ghost tour at Music Hall isn't happening this year, but you can see they have plenty of events that are. To see the complete list of Cincinnati Music Hall's upcoming events, head to cincinnatiarts.org slash events and click on Music Hall. Clyde?